Hi everyone. Welcome to today's video. It is Wednesday the 14th of July and it is noon. We are at high noon in Toronto. When I left home it was about I think 24 and it's pretty humid out. We are currently in the neighborhood of Forest Hill at Kilberry Road and Dunvegan Road. So we're going to take We're going to take in a little bit of Forest Hill today. This is a really pretty community in Toronto, especially during the summer because of all of this. These are beautiful white hydrangeas. One of my favorite flowers. It's a perennial. I planted some this year in the garden that David and I dug up. And, um, oh dear. I'm going to try and mute that sound out so hopefully when um, hopefully we are able to cut out all that drilling they're drilling cement or cutting through cement rather so that if there is a mute just before uh, I start talking here again that's because we uh, got rid of that sound it cut right into when I was beginning my walk and I chose Forest Hill, just to continue the reason why I chose Forest Hill today was because of all the beautiful flowers and this neighborhood is gorgeous. Big, beautiful palatial homes and many of these homes, many of these home gardens, yards are cared for by professional landscape park architects and um, And many of the gardens are beautiful because they're always well cared for. And the lawns are so well manicured. Look at some of these beautiful homes now. I'm just focusing on the gardens today. But of course we're taking in all their beautiful homes. Everybody's doing well, enjoying the summer weather. I like the summer weather, um, not as much as my husband. He uh, can stay outside all day with his puzzles and his books, but I, um, I can't, I find it too hot, too humid. So when I'm not walking or out and about doing errands, I'm, I'm pretty much in the house. However, this coming week, we are heading to Montreal. We are driving to Montreal and we're bringing our bikes with us. And we've cycled in Montreal a few times. So I hope to be able maybe to record on a bike. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. But regardless, I will be recording in Montreal. Just probably where we're near to where we're staying and you know, some of the surrounding neighborhoods that we visit. 
beautiful gardens, beautiful homes. Like this home here, you can see it looks original to me. Many of these homes, of course, you know, are teardowns and rebuilds. Here's another, this for sure is an original. So it looks like, I think, they're probably just going to be uh, probably fixing up the interior, but keeping this beautiful exterior. Beautiful exterior. Look at how well crafted these gardens are. Like that takes a lot of detail to sculpt these shrubs. So pretty. Hopefully we can mute that sound out as well. Not a lot of lawn, a lot of cement, but just enough green space and flowers. Beautiful landscape, gorgeous. Yeah, we're going to spend a few days in Montreal and cycle. It feels good to be able to, you know, leave the city and, and get away for a bit. I, I am very much a homebody. Um, but I do appreciate getting out, seeing a different just having a different, you know, environment, as I'm sure everybody does. My husband has the, he's always had the travel bug. Probably wouldn't be doing as much traveling if it wasn't for my husband. I, I do appreciate it, of course, and I love it when we do go, but it's, it's never been like forefront on my mind. But uh, it's nice to see different parts of our great land and our beautiful earth. Now look at this beautiful home. Wow, 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 that's nice. That's nice. Let's cross the street here. It looks like they've just done a new pave here. New asphalt. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we're doing Montreal. And I'm looking very much looking forward to getting on my bike and doing a long, you know, a nice long haul each day. We haven't been out much at all this year. Look at how pretty that is. That pretty front porch and it's quite private, except for my peering eyes here. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, and there's some iron artwork of a horse. Hope you can see it. That's cute. It's a horse within a horse. So I wonder if that's depicting a, a baby horse. And a mama horse. That's really cool. Really nice. Nice piece of art. Yeah, so I was thinking, I haven't been out much on my bike. Um, normally, I take my bike out during the summer, summer months to do, you know, my grocery shop and to do errands. So, just hop on my bike. But now that I'm rec recording walks, um, 
when I do need to do those types of errands, instead of using my bike now, I'm walking so I can record as well as do my errands. So that's why I'm not cycling as much. So that's why I'm also looking forward to our um, cycle trip this, this, uh, this coming week. And next month we are going to New Brunswick and then hopefully, if everything is okay, we'll come home via the US. We are driving to New Brunswick. And then um, if we can go through the U US, sort of do a road trip. And uh, stay a few nights, one, you know, a different place each night for a few days in the US. I like that black and white. The flowers are white and there's green and the black around the trimming of the home. It's beautiful. Pretty, pretty homes. Pretty gardens. Look at how well sculpted this is. That is precision. Here looks like a new build. Someone soon will be moving into there because it looks pretty, oh, there's curtains up already. So I think they're already in there. Oh, this is nice. I do like that design. That's nice. And I also see the new, like look at this cool new design. And this original old design right next door. Really nice. I mean, they're both, I think. Both beautiful. Here's Dunvegan Parkette. Let's cross over here. Kind of wait. Mm, I'm taking a little bit of the shade. Well, that's nice. So I don't think I'll be recording uh, until next week after this video. So this video should hopefully be up tomorrow. Look at how beautiful these homes are. And then, um, so this should be up hopefully tomorrow. And then I won't record again until next week. Once we're in Montreal. Oh, this is a bit of a steep. I'm gonna hold on to this pole and shimmy down here. There we go. Okay. We're on we? Hill Hill Home Road. Hmm. It is hot, hot, hot. 
and I'm all slathered up with sunscreen and I can feel it melting. Oh, they have a nice basketball court. This big, beautiful home. quiet in here. I really do like this neighborhood. Um, but you know, I, I, the only thing that if you could point out a downfall and it would not be a downfall for probably a lot of people. Um, but to live in this neighborhood, um, you pretty much have to, if you want to do a grocery shop, you pretty much have to get in your car. Because there is a Loblaws, Forest Hill Loblaws on St. Clair and Bathurst. And if you have like a lot of groceries, uh, I can't imagine people wanting to walk it. But I've got a few grocery stores for, you know, my neighborhood where I live and, uh, you know, it's like they're like maybe a 10 minute walk and it's easy to carry groceries home. Like everything is in walking distance for me. And if I lived here, you know, of course I would still walk, no question, but um, just not as accessible to amenities as the neighborhood that I, I live in. I just step out the door and, you know, I'm literally steps away from Young Street and about a seven minute walk to Eglinton. And everything is pretty much in the neighborhood of Young and Eglinton that I tend to need. Another big beautiful Forest Hill home. We're on Forest Hill Road right now. I've always loved this corner house. It always had the clay roofing. But I think they, I think they redid it a couple years ago. The house was under interior construction for a long time and they did a lot of work outside as well. It's stunning, this home. Beautiful. Did I just not say moments ago that this is a pretty quiet neighborhood? No. All the gardeners are out with their leaf blowers and construction is going on. Now this house here where the camera is angling this has been under construction, I think, for a couple of years. But what used to exist here was a big, grand, beautiful home, like exquisite. And it had the most beautiful wrought iron and stained glass, stained glass windows. It was such a beautiful home. This looks like it's going to be a beautiful home as well. Just different. And I do appreciate them both. Alrighty, 
folks, here we are. This is where we started. Actually, we started just across the street there where the camera is angling. So we will be back to visit Forest Hill at a later date. So I just want to thank you very much for watching this video, for joining me in this walk today. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and sharing it with your friends and family. And I look forward to seeing you in Montreal. This is Boomer Girl Walking, signing off.